Hello, in this video I will show how to start with panel data analysis. So I will open my do file and then we upload the data. So I import the data that I imported in the last video. So I just import that again. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you have panel data is to check whether OLS is better than panel data. Is panel data needed at all? So there's a test we need to run and know whether we should run panel data. And the test is called the Bruch Pagan Lagrange multiplier uh, test. The null hypothesis is that um there is no difference in the variance of the unit that we are observing uh, between the units so the differences across units is zero in other words there's no significant differences across units so no panel effect so we can just run ols so to test this uh this model we have to run the normal panel data linear panel data model so it's usual start with the uh, xt rec so and we have y is our dependent variable and x1 to x3 independent variable the default estimator in panel data linear modeling is the random effect model which we will look into in a different uh, in the next video but for now i want to show whether panel data is indeed needed so we are going to use this data set which i have already downloaded and then the first thing you do is to declare your data panel so to declare it as panel uh, we have to look for our unit what is the unit that you are observing what are the different units and the time dimension so you have to set the data as panel so i go there and say that xt set so the id is this one and the time is named as t so it could be any other it could be year it could be any way you you name it so i i pick this two okay then i set now you see the data is strongly balanced meaning it's a balanced uh, panel so we have time one to to seven and we is observe every year so it's conservative okay so we have declared the data to be panel and then so the first thing is to run um, a random effect model so we start with the command xt rec without the xt it just means you run an OLS. So let's first run an OLS. All right. So without the X XT, you run an OLS. That is pool OLS. Okay. So we have an OLS model here. Uh, see the number of observations. So by here, they didn't show the group. They didn't show the unit that we are observing. So they just treat them as equal. So the so um let me show how the data looks like in panel format as i showed in a different video um, we have to see the id the id is for this individual up to these years these different years so we have the information so what the ols does is to treat each of these lines as separate individual so they just say that all these are the same these guys don't vary in any way so this is what OLA does but for panel we want to say that individual one and individual two three they are different the variance across them is different and that is what we want to test in the lagrange multiplier test so to do that you run the panel data so from here i just add xt to this command 
So now it's panel data. And thus the default panel estimator is a random effect model. So I execute the command. Okay, so here we have we have run run the uh, random effect which we explain in the different video but for now let us run the the, uh, the the test to show that panel data is appropriate so and the test is we have xd test zero so you just run this one or you can copy it there but for now let me just run it from here okay and you see that the p value is significant is the, the test is highly significant which rejects the null hypothesis that um, there are no variations uh, error uh, the variances are not different so it, it, this meaning that there's a panel effect so therefore we have to proceed with a panel data analysis so that is how we know whether um, we start with panel data and know whether panel data are appropriate or we just have to run for OLS. So in the next video, I will again run the panel data model, the random effects, and then explain into detail the output that we have just gotten.